Everyone's been dealing with the Vikings obsession ever since Ragnar Lothbrok came to the scene. Don't worry, we're in the same boat as you. But all the Vikings have been depicted as the strongest Norsemen. However, is there anyone worthy of fighting these savages? The only name that comes to mind right now is the Spartans, because they're better equipped for war. We're not going to dissect each soldier because that would take an eternity, but here in History Unfolded, we make sure to get to the bottom of everything. Was there ever a crossover between the timelines of the Vikings and the Spartans? If the answer is yes, then let's see who would have won. Now here's when things get tricky, because both of these killing machines had the same goal, so is it really possible to find out who would win? We're not betting on on anyone yet because both had huge armies and every fight resulted in a bloodbath. The Spartans ruled many lands for over 150 years and remained undefeated. However, it was the same case for the Vikings due to their strict training and ability to survive and fight during the extreme Scandinavian cold weather. Despite the Spartans and the Vikings having lived almost a thousand years apart from each other, it would be a sight to see them in a fight. But there can't be a war without the right weapons and armor. They both use spears and shields mostly, with swords as their secondary weapon. The main difference is the style of warfare and the training both the Vikings and the Spartans received. Now the common ground is that both the Spartans and Vikings were against the Greeks and the Romans. There have been multiple instances where both of these armies could have faced each other at a battle. According to the experts, we have to take a look at the kind of weapons and equipment the Vikings and Spartans had. The Spartans' rule ended in 371 BCE and the Vikings came later on during 793 CE and they lasted up until their final defeat in 1066 AD. This makes all the difference because due to a huge distance between the two in time, we have to assume that they had different kinds of weaponry and means of transportation. There were no steel weapons during the reign of the Spartans, so all of their armor and weapons were made of bronze. This instantly puts them at a huge disadvantage because the Vikings were way more advanced. Now if you take a look at any pictures of soldiers from these armies, you can clearly see how every Spartan wore heavy armor. On the other hand, the Vikings didn't need any proper uniforms before going into battle and only relied on their weapons and shields. But we all know that every fight or war has some kind of motive behind it. What would have led to the Spartans fighting the Vikings? Maybe the Vikings would have gone on a surprise killing spree and tried to invade Sparta. Because this was the motive behind all Viking attacks and they wanted to rule every land and have power over their enemies. Spartans didn't have the same mentality and they wanted to end enslavement, according to the Greeks. But the thing that gave them the most power during a battle was standing in a formation with their brothers and closest friends. So if the Vikings and the Spartans were in a fight, anyone can tell who would win. The Spartans would get tired easily due to all the weight they had to carry. Not to highlight the fact that when it came to bronze versus steel, it's obvious which metal is stronger. However, there is still some conflicting information about people of Sparta and the Norsemen. Let's look at their war tactics, because this has been a question that has been left unanswered for ages. The Spartans had a very distinct style of attack that was called the phalanx formation. This is an ancient Greek method in which all the soldiers stand together and form a tight circle around their enemy. Every Spartan soldier carried a spear and archers, so the enemies had no choice but to surrender. On the other hand, Vikings weren't as cohesive and dedicated to most of their attacks. We have seen these deadly Norsemen use completely nonsensical tactics before going into battle. Sure, the Vikings were total savages in the battlefield, but their only advantage was their advanced and aggressive weaponry. There is, however, a lot of evidence of some of the smart tactics used by the Vikings. Since they had reliable ships, most of their attacks were a shock to their enemies. This explains why almost every influential Viking carried out invasions of different lands. Now that we've considered all the factors, the only thing remaining is how the Vikings and Spartans received their training. That being said, what is your bet going to be? You should take a look at our video where we get to the bottom of how Vikings would punish their enemies and use their inhumane tactics on their enemies. However, all the Viking fans should know that each Spartan child would undergo extreme military training since they started walking. Despite the weaker weapons, the Spartans didn't have any crutches and the reason is experience and training. An average Spartan soldier would have gone through more wars than a typical Norse warrior and would also receive guerrilla-style training because all historians 
historians agree that the Spartans had the most organized and successful armies. Getting back to the main question, who would win in a battle of the Vikings versus the Spartans? Wars are not won with the sharpest weapons or pure rage like the Vikings would display. It's all about being disciplined and sticking to your mission. Now, we're not trying to piss off any Viking fans by saying they had no discipline. It's quite obvious if you look at the history of all the invasions and attacks that were committed by the Vikings. Ragnar Lothbrok, who is considered the most influential and savage warrior, still lost due to a petty feud with his sons. You can find so many examples like this because the Vikings only cared about winning. There was no proper coordination between them. In the Vikings' history, the betrayal showed that these warriors were never on the same page. Why would Ragnar's sons go against him and try to outdo their own father? We all know the heinous and most brutal punishments that were inflicted on Ragnar Lothbrok when he tried to invade England. The Spartans never had any complicated problems within their own army, but both of these armies had their weaknesses, and if we hypothetically tried to picture them in a war, we could see how both the Spartans and Vikings deal with everything. The Spartans were trained to operate using an unbreakable formation and had no reservations. They would stand fast against any enemy and rather die in place than retreat. Their discipline was legendary, and in their own time, they were almost unbeatable. The Vikings are generally thought of as simple raiders who attacked lands without any prior warning and left before the other party could defend themselves. It almost seems like that was the only thing the Vikings cared about. They were unstoppable in the field with their flexible tactics and their Valhalla mindset of paradise to all those who died during fighting. So when you truly believe that you die during a battle, you would be welcomed by Odin, the god of war and death. It makes your intentions a bit complicated. Both the Vikings and the Spartans were incredibly brave and skilled in the art of war. But the flexibility of the Vikings to identify weakness and viciously exploit it would have been the key to their superiority over any Spartan soldier. But the phalanx war tactic has been considered the most effective in its entire history, and that's why Sparta remained unbreachable for the longest time. How do you think the Vikings would have defended themselves against hundreds of Spartans surrounding them from all sides? It doesn't matter how effective your weapon is when your enemy leaves you unable to defend yourself. We don't want you to go around in circles trying to see who's the strongest. It's all about finding out the mindset that would lead these men to fight for their lives. Does the phalanx war tactic and military drilling of the Spartans give them an advantage over the cruel Norse warriors? Or would the Vikings have attacked Sparta without any warning? Keep in mind that whenever a Spartan child would turn seven, he would receive intense training. All of them were dedicated to protect their land, and Vikings were the complete opposite. What happens when two completely different armies face one another? The Spartans were ready to die defending their land, while the Vikings would resort to surprise attacks in order to invade any land. When two opposing ideologies and warriors come together, is the end result just a gruesome bloodbath? We leave it to you to imagine this one-of-a-kind battle and share your thoughts with us.